Hey guys, I kind of wanted to celebrate the release of the Legacy of the Valent, so today I am putting out my Sylvan deck. I'm having a lot of fun with this archetype, and I hope a lot of people will be interested in it since it just came out in the TCG. So, Sylvans are pretty uh, interesting. They're basically uh, based on excavating the top cards of your deck, which allow you to reveal them and send them to the graveyard and activate certain effects on top of it. So first off, we have three Blade Fenders, uh, the main beater of this deck. Um, he allows you to excavate when you destroy a monster by battle, which is very strong. And also to keep in mind is what effects each of the Sylvans have when they're excavated, so you can set up your deck accordingly. When Blade Fender is excavated, he gets to your hand, which is really nice. And then we have uh, Marshall Leaf. So Marshall Leaf 1500 attack is okay, so he can excavate when he gets normal summoned, but he can also ex excavate one or two, which is really cool. The really awesome thing about him, and why I'm running three of him, is that when he's excavated, you can destroy a monster. So... Not only do you have three in your deck to give you three chances at destroying monsters, with how the recycling and the other effects the, of the Sylvans work, you can destroy a ton of monsters, and you'll see the potential of this uh, very quickly. And then we have uh, Sylvan Flower Knight, so another kind of beater. He can excavate when you summon, which is really nice, instead of having a um, battle like uh, Blade Fender. And also, the big thing about him is when he's excavated, you can set up your deck, which is, like I said, one of the big things about Sylvans is that you'll be able to set up your deck to activate the effects that you want. And so one of the bosses of this deck, I would say there's like two bosses, but the main one is uh, Sylvan Hermitry. 2700 attack, uh, very powerful. He can ex excavate on his own, which is very, very nice. It doesn't require him being normal summoned or you know battle or something like that. And he can also draw cards, which is really cool. So he'll set up the graveyard and give you draw power on top of being a 2700 attack monster. And if he's excavated, you could rearrange the top three cards of your deck, which is really, really good. Um, and also just really good to get him to the graveyard anyway, because of how the deck works. And then Sylvan Peacekeeper. So Sylvan Peacekeeper is kind of like this little weakling that can help you a lot, because he can excavate when it's normal summoned, um, just like a lot of the other Sylvans. But when he's excavated, you can special summon um, so, uh, plants from your graveyard. So depending on what plants you have in your graveyard and what Sylvans you have there, you can really do a lot of really crazy uh, stuff. So this is a really good card, even though it's very, very weak. It's a lot better when it gets excavated. And then we have Sylvan Komushrumu. I thought about putting three in this deck, but I ended up not doing it. Um, so when this guy is flipped, you can excavate a ton of cards, whatever you want to do. And when he's excavated, you can destroy a spell or a trap. So um, you can start really wrecking your opponent's field with this card and Martial Leaf, which is very nice. And then one Guardi Oak. So um, a Tribute Summon with 2400 attack, decent attack. And he can also excavate once per turn, which is really, really nice. But the big thing about him is that when he gets excavated, you can take your graveyard and put one of those on top of your deck to set up whatever you need. Again, reusing those Sylvan effects that are very powerful, which really is at any one of them. And then we have Lone Fire Blossom. You know, recently uh, it's became semi-limited, so you're running two in this deck. Obviously very, very powerful, you know, don't really have to say much about this. Dandelion, obviously very, very good in order to bring out uh, more tokens that you can stall with and you could synchro with, and they're just very, very helpful overall. And then we have Spore, um, obviously in a plant deck that has some synchros in it and a lot of variety of levels, this card can be very, very good. And it, since it activates from the graveyard, it's not going to be a big deal that, you know, it gets excavated and sent to the graveyard. Debris Dragon, obviously, with the ability to, you know, get out Black Rose Dragon, um, this makes a lot of sense. And we have Titanical, obviously another plant boss that's very, very powerful. Uh, very Makes a lot of good uses of your weaker Sylvans as well. And new uh, card, Cherubi, very, uh, is it Cherubi me? I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's a very uh, nice card. Um, it's kind of a defender and also allows you um, to special summon plant monsters, which is just very, very strong kind of going with the whole entire deck type. These other plants really just support the Sylvans so, so well. And now for the spell cards. So Mount Sylvania, uh, very important for Sylvans because it has two really, really good effects. Um, allowing you to load your graveyard from your hand in order to do what you need to do. And on top of that, setting up the deck to activate whatever effects you want, which is really crazy. And then you can also um, excavate at the end of your opponent's turn, which is really, really nice. Um, so, two really good effects allowing you to set up what you need to do. And then Mark of the Rose, you know, we're loading the graveyard with plants like crazy, so this is just really, really good. Fits in with the plant, um, with the plants in general, but Sylvan's just works so well with it. Along with that, Miracle Fertilizer, 
you have so many uh, Sylvans in the graveyard, and you can just keep bringing them back with a card like this, which is really awesome. MST, Dark Hole. Sylvan Blessing can be pretty interesting, um, allowing you to special summon a Sylvan and also reuse its effect. You know, what's one of the things we're talking about, um, being able to use these effects over and over again, even though they're really powerful on their own. So running two of this, thought about running three, it's a very good card. And then just Stable Traps, not much to say there. So for the extra deck, um, you, there's a variety of levels in this deck, so you really have to think about what you want to do. Um, so I am just picked out the ones that I think will be the most useful. Uh, Miss Bird, Catastore, Iron Chain, Black Rose, obviously, Scrap Dragon, and Stardust. Not really much to say there. Uh, pretty typical Synchros. You can put in a lot more if you want, but I wanted to have a bit more options in my XYZs. For the XYZs, you also have a bunch of different options. So we have Zen Mains, uh, Levire. Um, I'm having some of the new ones in this deck, kind of messing with them. Still think they're going to be really good, like this one, Evil Swarm Ex Exiton Knight. I think that's how it's pronounced, but still a very, very, very powerful card. Uh, Mace Stroke, Lavalo Chain, amazing in this deck. Pretty obvious to uh, tell why. Um, number 101, I'm also using this guy. Again, very powerful to kind of annoy your opponent and take their special summon monsters. Very, very powerful XYZ, so I'm messing with this a lot lately. And then the 8 stars... So, Felgrand and Tachyon Dragon, pretty typical. So, and then LCI, the Sylvan High Protector. So, kind of the other boss of this deck. Uh, more of a defense monster, but its effects are really, really good. Um, basically, you declare a card name, and most of the time you'll know it. And you can basically trick, like, not really trick the deck, but you can mess with it because you can say the card's name if you want to get it, or if you don't want it, if you want it to go to the graveyard, you just don't say the name. So... What happens is you just set up your graveyard, set up your Sylvan effects, or you get draw power and whatever card you want. So very, very powerful. And along with all the other Sylvans, this sets up your deck so well. And it's really crazy when you start to get things going. So now for the side deck. Uh, side decks in my videos are just recommended cards that also work with the main deck. It isn't necessarily a side deck for matches. These are cards that I want you to probably consider when you're building your own Sylvan deck that can be very interesting. So cards like Copy Plant, obviously another tuner, and with all the variety of levels, there's a lot of things you could do with this, and along with the other special summoning you're doing, this gives you access to a lot of different synchros and XYZs. And then uh, Giga Plant can be a really interesting one, a bit of work to, you know, be able to use its effect, but with how the graveyard, you know, gets piled up, this can be very useful. This new card, Mystic Maricopa Seed, allows you to kind of um, mess with your levels to kind of bring out different synchros and stuff like that. The only problem is this deck is not really Earth-based. It has some Earth monsters, but it's not completely Earth-based. But you can still do some interesting stuff with this. And then Blue Rose Dragon. Um, it's just a really cool card in this deck because you can bring out Black Rose or a plant-type monster, which is really, really good. Botanical Lion, another interesting one when you're swarming a lot with Sylvans. Another beater that you have a chance uh, to use. Also nice that effect that it can't be switched, which is really cool. Um, there's a bunch of other synchros you could use in this deck. Underworld Fighter can be useful. Um, there's a couple plant six stars that are interesting, these two. You can also use the Naturas, um, but if you use the Naturas, you kind of need to set up your deck in a way that it supports it with the Earth monsters because there's not a lot of Earth in this deck. Um, Foolish Burial can be very good in this deck. Convulsion of Nature is a very interesting card. Um, doesn't see much play outside of a deck like this, but can be really interesting. Creature Swap is good for kind of getting rid of your weaker Sylvans when you want to. Solidarity, if you're running full plants, can be interesting. Reasoning, you have a variety of levels, so this can be good. Uh, Fragrant Storm, again, getting rid of your weaker Sylvans and giving you draw power. And then finally, Polynosis, a uh, counter trap card that can be uh, very, very useful. So that's my Sylvan deck. I'm having a ton of fun with it. It's a really cool archetype. I'm hoping a lot of people will start to get interested in them that aren't usually interested in the plant archetypes because I think this one is just so unique and it's just so cool, all the different strategies it has. And the way you just set up your deck is really uh, unique and interesting. But if you guys have your own Sylvan decks, I'd definitely love to see them because it's a new archetype. I want to see what people are doing with them. If you like this video, you can subscribe or hit the like button. I'd really appreciate it. If you want to see other decks from me, you can check the playlists that are in the description. One of them has a list of all the decks I've made so far. Another one has a list of all the decks I've made for this current ban list. Also, you can see my contacts in there. If you want to tweet me, uh, send me a message, you know, follow me on Twitter, all that kind of stuff. It's all in the description. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later.